Hello everyone. <coughs> Welcome to the next session on candlestick patterns. So, thank you for joining again. Dev K Learners Learning to Trade series. Um, and I hope we are moving a bit forward daily. So, uh, today we are again continuing with the same thing, which is continuation of the candlestick patterns. So, we are talking about the spinning top. So what is a spinning top? Spinning top is like a candlestick pattern which is which shows continuous continuity of the trend. So it's a continuation candlestick pattern. This is the second one which we are doing after the doji. It is pattern to have small body between the two equal long wicks, like the way that you're seeing it there, and the potential of going in in, in any direction might be going up or might be going down. Uh, sometimes the next candles signifies the movement it can tell you that whether it will be going up or top or suggest the continuation of the, um, the, the range so in the next chart I've, I've just given you some examples because I've seen various um, with this chart which I've taken it from 26th May this is 15 minute chart um, for each of for a couple of days so it is like 26th 27 28 uh, 29 30 and 31 so if you see uh, there are various spinning patterns so we saw a spinning pattern here it was followed by with green but this didn't decide anything another spinning pattern spinning top so it brought the market down again we saw a spinning pattern here and it shows that the market would be going down but it did not it went up and again again the last bidding pattern after the date which said that it's still undecisive so uh, the spinning top pattern is very undecisive it will not give you the correct information it just says that the we are not very sure or it, it gives you the continuation it will tell you that uh, if, if it, it talks about the continuation of the pattern uh, the, 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 the range pattern but sometimes, sometimes the next candle tells us more about the movement. But sometimes it's. Uh, but in this this chart, we are seeing that it is not very prominent that it is showing us that anything. Uh, the next candle is uh, uh, taking us to any conclusion that there can be a movement. So all of them are indecisive. So again, if you are using it, just put a stop loss somewhere there. And uh, again, I missed on some one thing there in order to give you the information, but I'll take it at the end. So that was all the things that I wanted to cover, but this warning was left. So I just wanted to talk about this warning as well that I am no uh, expert. I'm just learning and creating videos for myself by finding resources available free on internet. So everything that you're seeing there is is um, taken from internet. I've already added references to everything that I'm working on. So thinking if my journal help encourage anyone to follow my path, I've just created this video. This document consists of patterns and images taken from various sources. All the references are made in the reference pages. In fact, it is also made uh, made in the pages. Patterns are good for uh, good. Uh, are good for quick predicting trends but they should not be used alone with the technical analysis uh, they should not be used alone they should be used with the technical analysis so uh, we, we are talking or we are creating another slides on the technical analysis we will we'll keep on updating that as well uh, just a couple of more things before I leave I thank you for uh, for learning and listening with me and uh, I hope we have moved a bit forward in our learning so if you want to contact me you can use any of the details there with that I once again thank you and I have a wonderful day ahead bye bye